Welcome back. So I've had some success. I have gotten the top plate on here. I asked Reddit to see uh, if anybody had some ideas as well for dealing with this. A lot of people suggested stay away from heat just because of uh, hardening the stainless steel. So uh, what I ended up doing was just bending it and I made a, here it is. I basically made a little tool here and I used this to get inside of the stainless and bend it right on the welded joint and this seemed to do a pretty good job. I got uh, quite a bit of the warpness out of it. It's impossible to get it all because like the way this thing is uh, shrinking, like it's, if you imagine just taking a seam like this and shrink it in in this way. It's like it's bound to start warping it in all directions. It's not like it's gonna warp it up and uh, so after that, I got the bolts put in the holes and if you've seen uh, one of the previous videos I was talking about These little suckers here. Let me go get a bolt So we have our bolt here and you can see them all along there and The idea is that these little things fit on the top of the bolt and then that way I can punch a divot Stop moving I can punch a little divot in the uh, stainless steel once I kind of I clamp everything down just so everything was reasonably flat. Yeah, and then went around with a hammer, smacked it, and let's see if I can get one of these up close. Yeah, it's probably gonna, yeah, you can see there. So like I rounded, it rounded the tips out so these were one time use for sure. And I had to uh, hit it with a decent amount of force with a the hammer. These bolts, they were threaded in all the way. So that way the force of the blow from the hammer is not directed onto the threads. Instead it's onto the top. Um, otherwise I would have damaged, yeah, just stay down there. Otherwise I would have just damaged all the threads on uh, that's in the steel there. So that worked out well, nothing, uh, nothing too bad after that. And then clamped it all down and uh, squished it all down. And now it's, it's not looking too bad. So the front here, is uh, there's nothing holding it down and it's uh, you know it can be kind of bent a bit so what I'm thinking is probably getting some M5 stainless steel bolts and put, putting a series of them down here and you know, maybe down there too let's see if I can make it look a little, little nicer that's the plan but what I'll do is I'll, I'll get this uh, front part on with the hydraulic uh, springs and get those back on so I can figure out where uh, where those bolts are going to need to be. Most of the welding turned out alright, so you can see down here. Relatively smooth. Uh, there are some problematic areas like over here. The overlap of uh, the top one onto the bottom one. And I think there, I think there was a gap. There's a few situations like that where they, the seam didn't really line up together and I had to go a little excessive on the uh, fill rod. Yeah, and then over here, I've yet to, uh, yeah, same here. It's all just a big giant mess. Just trying to fill in gaps and stuff. Uh, on the uh, 45 degree ones there, it's still kind of gnarly looking. That powdery stuff is this stuff here. Solar flux type B. It's the flux, uh, and I, I guess it's like, the idea with this is uh, you're supposed to use it like you're supposed to use it with backing and What it would do is absorb all the oxygen and then it'll stop sugaring, but it does leave a really nasty black kind of glass material on it And yeah, this is really this one especially is really nasty looking. But yeah, I've got to uh, get in there and try and clean this up I'll get to that at some point. My main priority right now is just to get this machine back running again and back together. If you're in the need to make something like this, uh, I'll quickly show you how I did it. So we have uh, your typical IKEA Allen key that you probably have a million of. So what you do is you chop off one side of it and I'm using a diamond cutoff wheel because I don't like debris of those other zip wheels flying at me and causing problems. Typical flap wheel, I'm using I think an 80 grit, doesn't really matter though. So you, you might want to even use something lighter than this because the, let me get one of these up close. Here's, here's one that's not even used. Let's see if I can get this on footage. 
I used a drill press and what you want to do is after you chop off a little piece you can make probably maybe six or seven of those little things out of uh, this size which is probably maybe two inches long and what you'll do is you'll put this in and then you'll use your flap wheel to uh, put the point on that side and then you swap over to the cutoff wheel and yeah and then you you chop it off and then uh, you start over again you uh, go back to the flap wheel you put another point on you cut it off you do that for an hour or so you realize maybe I should just go to the store and buy the professional ones because I'm kind of wasting time but there is a benefit to this whole thing the nice thing about doing it this way is I have one here and if I drop it in like so when this thing when this bolt is put down into the steel tubing this tubing is uh, eighth inch it's probably maybe two millimeters or so I'm not sure but that's not a lot of thread and you'd need quite a bit of force to put a divot into the stainless steel this stainless steel is really tough and if you were to use the ones where they it just it's just uh, threaded in slightly. Well, there's a number of problems. You could lose it within the tube and you'll never get it back out again. And also, when you use a bolt such as this, the bolt is screwed all the way in. And then that way, when you're hammering on it, the force is directed onto the bolt head and onto the surface and not directly onto the threads. Otherwise, you're likely to damage all the threads when you do this and that's not very good. After that, when you're done, it's pretty simple. They just come out, and then you can just use a regular uh, Allen key to get them out. So that's all for this video. I hope you uh, found this little uh, tip uh, useful, and I will see you guys in the next video.